You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Stuck in traffic, lost your patience, love, desire, lust and passion. Take a breath and stop berating. Have a crack at traffic dating. Love Island Australia is back in the Spanish sun. Start streaming from Monday 6pm on 9 now. How good is that? Love Island Australia is back and we thought once a week we'll bring back traffic dating. Find love for people around here. If you're single, you're stuck in traffic, it's an opportunity to sell yourself and find love. We send you out on a date. This is really exciting. Elise uh, got in touch with the show. She's from Bondi Junction. Very attractive girl. I'd say looks like Margot Robbie. Oh, a little bit, she yeah. Does, yes. Yeah, a bit of a Margot Robbie lookalike. Um, mm-hmm. She is desperate to find a well, man. Do you know what? She actually rang last week for Elliot, who was on traffic dating yes. as well. And Elliot picked somebody else. That's his loss, mate. His loss. Are we going to find out a little bit more about Elise? Let's have a listen. Hi, I'm Elise. I'm 25 and I live in Bondi Junction. After Elliot didn't pick me last week. I'm going to go with option number one. I'm on my own search for love. I'm a paralegal training up to be a big shot lawyer. I object. I'm an Aussie girl at heart, so on a Friday night, you'll catch me with my parents trying to win a meat tray. I'm um, I'm home. And on the weekend, I'm getting steamy in the Bondi iceberg sauna. Should we buy a double pass? I'm looking for a loyal guy who can hold a conversation and doesn't just talk about himself the whole time. He's still talking about himself? They also need to be funny, hardworking and chasing a career. Run, Forrest, run! I don't have a type, so if you've got a dad bod, you should take a ticket. He's the snack man! Oh. My favourite TV show is True Detective and you'll often catch me going for a walk listening to a true crime podcast. Oh. So when you pick me up and take me to a winery, I'll have lots to talk about. I'm loving, affectionate and fun, but I'm also trying to kick my online shopping addiction and have deleted my apps. So maybe you could be my new addiction. Oh, that is Cute. Cute. She joins us now. Hi, Elise. Hello, how are oh. you? Elise, I think what's important to note as well is you embracing the greatness of a dad bod. Yes, exactly. I'm not fussy. So. Nothing wrong with... Well, it's not about being fussy, but nothing wrong with a dad bod is what we Elise, when was your last relationship and why did it end? Um, it was in December last year. Yeah. Um, it ended because of cheating, which was unfortunate. Oh, oh like, did you? Happened for some reason, so. Yeah. Did you hook up with his mate? No. <laughs> Um, I should have, but no, unfortunately. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> How good's True Detective as well, Elise? You like your crime, don't you? No, but, yeah, don't spoil because I'm only on episode six. Oh, okay, so great. Okay. This is awesome. It. Got a few right. to go. <laughs> All right, so Elise, we are looking for someone that Elise can fall in love with. Tommy, what are we giving away here? We've got $500 cash to go yeah. on the date. So, good. Um, so Elise, you get to choose what you want to do with that $500. But, fellas, this is your opportunity. 13 24 10. Give us a call right now if you're stuck in traffic, if you're single, and you'd like to go on a date, you can go to the Fitzy and Whipper Instagram account and see Elise there. All right. We will get you on next. Here we go. Mitch in Campbelltown is contestant number one. Mitch, you have 30 seconds on the clock to pitch yourself. Have a pitch, Mitch. To Elise, off you go. Mitch. 25. And I'm from Campbelltown. Yep. Um, I'm truly a country boy at heart. Um, I'm a builder. So you couldn't say that... Uh, build that dream relationship with you. That's good. Uh, yeah. chances, chances are you'll find me at the pub for some trivia on Thursday night. The pub. Or for when it comes to the weekend, I'll be out bush camping under the stars, cooking oh. up a storm on the barbie. Okay. Um, I'm not a gym fella, yep. but oh, I do love me fitness. I've just come back from doing the Dakota Trail, so I do like to keep myself ah, fit. Okay. Impressive. Kokoda. All right. So loves the bush, loves Kokoda, outdoors guy, not afraid of a pub. That is awesome. And can I'm cook. All. Can, can cook, cook as well, Elise. That's great. That's contestant number one. Contestant number two is James. He lives in your neck of the woods. Bondi, 30 seconds to sell yourself. James, off you go. Hi, Elise. I'm James. Uh, as I said, I live in Bondi, so pretty into my surfing. Um, I work in women's health care. Yeah. I'm around females a lot, so I know what to say. Beautiful. Um, so I heard you have a bit of a shopping addiction, which is perfect because I actually need some new clothes so you can help me out there. Oh, oh I love that. Interesting. <laughs> um, and, yeah, maybe I'll take you out for surfing in return. James, oh, um, if, you're around, return. if you're around women a lot, you haven't managed to find love through your career? No, I haven't. It's a bit more professional than that. Yeah, inappropriate oh, okay. at yeah, work. So James, true. who do you look like? 
Who do I look like? Yeah, give mm. us a celeb. Um, I've been taught that I look like Dr. Chris Brown. Oh, oh right. hey, the okay. Brown okay, like that one. Well done. Let's go to Tom in Connell's, Connell's Point. He is contestant number three, traffic dating. What do you got for us, Tom? Hi there, I'm Tom. I'm 24. I uh, live in Connell's Point. I uh, have my own business, Waterfront Solutions. I work on the water. Uh, I'm also uh, sort of ride a prof- uh, jet ski professionally, racing, jet ski. so riding is that. Yeah, I love jet um, skis, tops off. And just recently got my helicopter licence as well, oh, so oh, you want to uh, cool. float or fly away. Wow, um, float or fly away. So, Tom, do you have your own helicopter or no, you just hire one? No, that's not quite on the books yet, yep. but uh, yep. yeah. Just uh, definitely a plan, but that's a Tommy, plan. that's hot. And what about what about your work, your business that you've had, the um, waterfront yeah, so solutions? I work on the water, on the harbour, a lot of the rivers, doing uh, waterfront maintenance. Right. Um, so yeah, that's he the just loves God. God. He is addicted to Th- good times. Oh. Three awesome oh, blokes. Elise. Yeah. Elise, this is really tough because you've got the country boy, Mitch, who wants to take you out of the country there in Campbelltown. He's contestant number one. James is contestant number two. He's from Bondi, loves a surf and knows how to talk to ladies. Looks like Dr. Chris Brown. Contestant number three is Tom in Connell's Point, professional jet skier, loves the water and has his helicopter licence. Wow. So, Elise, Elise. you need to tell us. You want to contestant number one, contestant number two or contestant number three? Three. Oh god, they all sound so nice and amazing, but I've always wanted to learn how to surf, so I'm gonna have to go with James. Oh! Hey! The local lad James. Yeah. James, okay. meet Elise. <laughs> hey Elise. Hey. That was unreal. That was a that was a tough pick. That was three um three great choices, but I think you chose well. And the surf is really good so next too. week, so yeah, oh, that's I perfect. Nice to meet you. Very exciting. Oh, it's gonna be unreal. <laughs> You can go surfing at North Bondi where the waves are a bit smaller. Yeah, where where your best wet suit? Yeah, will do. <laughs> best to impress. <laughs> All right, unreal. Well, um... <laughs> yes! Yeah! You can hear it. Love it. You can I hear the last it. stuff. <laughs> First impressions I didn't are tough. Know when you guys were going to step in. Yeah, well done. Uh, that's we love why it, we do it. We love the awkwardness. <laughs> Elise, James, stay on the line. $500 coming your way. And Love Island Australia is back in the Spanish sun. Start streaming from Monday, 6 p.m. on 9 net. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.